Hey everyone, Gina here from the Embroidery Zone, and I wanted to share a little trick that I use when I'm digitizing logos such as this. I absolutely hate trims. I hate machine trims. I hate manual trims. So if I can avoid them at any cost, I will do so. So when I made this design, I have no trims in between these black letters, so that saves me uh, one, two, three, four, right there, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to run the slow redraw to show you what I did. We'll go through the red, and then one trim there, and then the white. I do always use um, any travel stitches that I can to keep that needle down in the machine without stopping as much as possible. Here's my favorite part right here. When I digitize these letters, I use the, um, the little reshape tool. I think if I click on this, I might lose my... I'm going to finish this up first, then I'll show you. Uh, to create a travel run here, and then back down again so that it does not trim. And that little line right there will get covered up by that band around the ribbon. So there are minimal trims in this design, and it's going to sew really fast. And you can see how I've done that here as well. But that, I think, in between the letters, when, you, when you're doing banners, because that happens quite often, is one of my favorite things. So, let's see. I'm going to take the true view off, and I'm going to click on this letter, and I'm going to go to um, the Stitch Edit tool. That's how I did it. Uh, here we go. That works. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm using my um, arrow key, my forward arrow key, and right here, when that F got done stitching, I just went ahead and used my digitized a run right here. Just a few stitches, and then it goes up into the next letter. So I hope you can use that tip, and I hope it saves you a bunch of trims. Thanks for watching.